back with the bonnet and back again so yo so we are talking about crystals today what i use literally damn near daily so <laughs> so crystals look there's so much like love and light and crystals and all this other stuff yeah 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 but let's really talk about let's give you a beginner kit and let's talk about the uses for the beginner kit these are crystals that you literally can use every single day switch them up whatever just to have them with you right so this is like the basic crystal kit that you basically need or the crystals that you basically need if you are a crystal beginner so let's get started right so we're just gonna whatever order i'm not going to order i'm just grabbing whatever crystals i have so the first crystal that i would recommend or that you should start off with in your beginner's kit is clear quartz of course it's so cute and clear quartz is just that anything that's clear will clear anything or it's assistance this can be paired with any crystal so i mean it's a clearing clear crystal you know what i'm saying so um use these to clear any negativity uh, just get some clarity in life it's all about the clarity you know if you are doing uh crystal grids and stuff like me or even practicing any type of magic and you like to involve crystals this is like <laughs> this is like the go-to crystal to always be put down to clear out any way so nothing will come near you another one in the clear group we're going to talk about is selenite Ooh, i'm a selenite plate too but i was about to show you but i don't want to take it off take the cards off and all that but the selenite plate i use is to also clear my cards cleanse my cards selenite is anything especially if you're a tarot reader or you are a spiritual worker this bad boy is in everybody's home i'm telling you so clear quartz you can put it on top of your deck you can put it on top of anything and do what needs to be done so you know same thing selenite is more white mine is a little scratched though this one is but um you know it does the job it does the job but i always just slap it on top of my deck sometimes even rub it on my deck to you know, just get the vibrations out get the vibrations out and you can definitely sleep with these two with clear quartz and selenite if you would like to uh clear your mind all these crystals that i'm recommending you can sleep with so um definitely you can use these to clear your mind or get clear messages as well so the clear one we got the clear quartz so clear quartz bad boy i bought my boyfriend a bigger one because he loved this one so much too it was like longer so clear quartz is the point wherever you point this crystal is bringing the direction to you or from you so if i point this crystal towards me especially if you're doing like uh any spiritual work or even readings i like to point this towards me to bring whoever's um energy is into my vicinity um uh, always definitely make sure this is cleansed because you know it can bring any type of energy depending on what that person's bringing or depending on how you contact the spirits all that type of stuff so definitely make sure you keep this one cleansed now this one i don't think i slept with this one i think i only slept a few times with this one at first but this one usually is on my altar because that's just i use this to also contact my ancestors as well so if you want to bring more energy towards you point this towards your way this way point her towards you and you'll bring all the energy in ask for great love and light energy and protection okay you do your rituals how you do your rituals another one so delight boy this is my g right here i haven't had to really use this like that like i still do um but i usually for clients and stuff like that to bring that energy in but this has been my og till like the at the beginning of my journey because i'm a tourist so you know i my arguments so the light is all about that frog in your throat i'm telling you this is about speaking your truth this crystal you can sleep with this as well but understand if you ain't been speaking up for yourself this crystal will, will definitely bring those situations towards you chakra basically speaking your truth speaking up even if it's something that people may not even like at times continuing on with the dark colors my best friend got me this pretty 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 labradite here isn't she beautiful i sleep with her all the time so if my best friend is looking at this taylor yes i still sleep with this all the time this is my baby and i pair her with amethyst or the the you know the quartz amethyst but this is also the closest thing to amethyst for me okay and amethyst is my favorite crystal and my favorite color so 
this is about dreams lucid dreams lucid visions um really man pairing that up with amethyst will definitely be some powerful things you want to sleep with this and you want some some crazy dreams some to send you a very <laughs> direct crazy spontaneous message i'll let you know this is the one you will this is the one that will also help um the spirit world seems to contact contact more if that makes sense so you know it can get lower But I definitely use this pair with amethyst. I don't know why I'm dropping my crystals there. My hands are sweaty. Paired with this to get some very good sleep for one and very calming messages for two. So definitely labradite. Uh, I wouldn't know what chakra. If I had to put a chakra with this, I would definitely say third eye or crown chakra for labradite. You know, with the dark colors, obviously, we are down to amethyst, third eye, and cluster. So anytime you see crystals like this, by the way, too, with the all of this, yeah, it's called clusters. So this is the cluster one. And this is the crown chakra. So with the amethyst crown chakra one, of course, top of your head, um, this helps open up your mind to new perspectives. I used to carry this a lot around a lot, but I ended up just starting to carry the third eye one because it's easy for me to just pertain to my third eye than more of my crown because I'm very intelligent anyways. I'm very trust what I think as it is, but I'd like to see more. Mm. <laughs> so don't be surprised with this. You sleep with this. You know, great messages. I even contacted my ancestors really good for the first time through this. My ancestors came through to me in a dream. So definitely ask if you want messages in the dream, I will guarantee you, you will get this. Now, if you somehow wake up and you don't remember your dream, then that means the amethyst is just telling you you just need to sleep. Because sometimes that will happen, to be honest with you. Instead of, oh, ancestors, give me a message. And then I go to sleep. And then I wake up. And I don't remember nothing. And I don't even remember if I got a message. And I started to take that as if, you just didn't need one you just need to rest that was probably was the message now other days now like on some like spiritual type thing or i really want some messages for them or your answers say they want to send you a message you better grab these bad boys and pair with that labradite too if you want to be real powerful and we're going into a little bit of the red category this is red jasper definitely recommend red jasper is a little dirty i don't know what happened to her but <laughs> red jasper is the root chakra grounding chakra here this is about you know what your womb kind of is your genitals is um having that sexual liberation sexual freedom um and it's not always about sexual liberation and freedom when it comes to grounding yourself this is just really being more confident from the ground up you know what i'm saying so red jasper is so pretty so pretty so pretty she was used right when i begin i definitely say for beginning your spiritual journey red jasper will be something that you also will be probably needing especially for people like me that won't really ground it um and if you are very grounded in the wrong way she will redirect you so understand that definitely another one this is cute this is becoming a little popular now i got this as a gift from my etsy shop and by the way of course if you would like crystals get them on etsy if you don't want to go on etsy magicplanet.com use my code in the bio to knock some money off and magic planet is cheap and etsy is cheap anyways too so this is desert rose or rose desert whichever way you want to call it either way that's her name whatever her name her name she takes it so this is about love it wouldn't look like that at first but if you kind of see her in a better light she kind of does like some kind of rose legit in the desert so yeah i mean she eats what she eats she be hanging out she be hanging out and stuff but she's about love too but some reason when i look at her she's also about she's a different type of love this is not rose quartz love okay this is like this person will be some genuine type love if this was a person it would be some genuine type love i know i'm talking about my crystals like your people right now but hey um but She's cute. Well, especially mine. She's small. She's cute. She's really very adorable. She definitely gives off some very adorable energy. Um, she's, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, you know what? I know how to explain it. You know when you're crying, if you have a pet or had a pet, and you're crying, and your pet decides to, like, walk up to you, you forget your pet is there because you think you're all alone, and then your pet comes up and starts licking you or meowing at you and stuff like that, that's Desert Rose or Rose Desert, basically, if I had to explain her. But I wouldn't say she's too much of a key. If you don't have her, that's fine, too. Uh, if you hit the second settle for... Well, this ain't even less. Rose Quartz is still like the OG. Everybody knows Rose Quartz. That's the OG to the beginner. 
Um, she look dirty. You don't, you know, don't tell you. Look, I be doing like spiritual work and stuff. So like, it be I be getting incense and stuff on my candles. I mean, on my, on my crystals. So yes, yeah, please don't, please don't pay that no mind and talk about how dirty some of them are. They be getting put to work, as you can see. But I'm tearing my babies up today. This don't make no sense. But when <laughs> Real Rose Quartz, if she stopped trying to run from me, she don't want to be on camera apparently for her to keep tossing out my hand. Well, Rose Quartz, you know, she is very shy, as you can see. Rose Quartz is definitely for some shy people. I definitely will say that. She's just shy, but this is definitely for people that have a hard time expressing love and showing love or really receiving what love is or if you want love you know this rose quartz will gravitate that to you of course with all crystals manifest claim it pray for it whatever you got to do right so next runner up you know uh come on least favorite maybe because the way it looks but this is carnelian this is orange it's kind of ugly to me y'all i'm sorry it's probably why carnelian be mad with me but it's pretty on this side um I just don't like the stuff that's going on. I'm not going to talk about that. It could be about creativity. This could be about, um, let me also, let me eat a little bit more. Let me fact check myself on, on Carnelian. Because Carnelian and I don't really work together as much as we used to. Fact checking myself. Carnelian helps with courage, security, and safety, willpower, determination, returning passion to relationships, developing a higher and a healthy sense of self, focusing on the present moment, overcoming abuse protection against envy and boosting energy this can be paired with all of course with all of them can be paired with clear quartz to clear that out and uh malachite and sardonyx 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 i don't know i don't got that crystal <laughs> but yes so i mean this is my least used one because for me for some reason with creativity and getting things done it's usually citrine for me citrine really clears that negativity and gets things done so i mean yes you can get this one uh you can get carnelian or you can get citrine like i said citrine is just personally my favorite and uh like i said clear negativity pros uh, prosperity color this is the color of prosperity this is the color of really seeing through and understanding like you know it's almost yellow too so just things are bright uh yellow brick road kind of vibes with citrine but citrine is my bad boy this is when especially if you do spiritual work and stuff like that if you want to make sure no negativity gets in your way citrine is definitely my go-to so but you can also use uh carnelian of course too to protect yourself against anybody that's envious and last but not least is the green adventure ring green adventure ring pretty pretty this is the heart chakra as well so rose quartz is always talked about but no one ever talks about uh green adventurine as being the heart chakra the heart chakra can also be uh, green or pink just depending on whatever you want to go with so with this i mean it's just about love also open love but this is something about a prospering love that this crystal brings to me or some type of um natural kind of love greatness natural as well so something that is natural to you and loving that the way it is it's like that's what the kind of vibe that green adventuring is used for for love magic or anything like that love rituals i definitely recommend this as well if you want to do protection over family loved ones this is the one i always carry on me if i really want to be extra protective over my loved ones so yeah that is the crystals uh recommendations the beginner kit basically i will say um of course if you have any questions comments or concerns or whatever or even questions about other uh other types of crystals i will also recommend this book this is the crystals for a beginner it is on amazon or wherever else you can get this but um this will also be a big help to people that want to begin uh their journey with crystals and do crystal magic and stuff like that and crystal grids so uh every crystal i named is in this book and i'll always still use this book be looking for more crystals that i want next for me is tiger's eye so <laughs> but yeah so and if you want this book if this book is it is on magicplanet.com use my code shades tarot for any crystals you would like to buy from magicplanet.com use my code shades tarot down in the bio below i mean the description below and um yeah so like comment subscribe i hope this was helpful for all you guys and um if you have any recommendations anything to help with your spiritual journey uh comment below and i see you guys later peace